Geek Free Guide to Ranking Your Site in Google. Lesson 2 Page Level Link Features. First, the short answers. What are page level link features? Page level link features is just a fancy way of saying the quality and quantity of links aimed at a single page of your website. How important are they? According to the 150 experts surveyed, page level link features are an 8 out of 10 on the scale of importance for ranking in Google, just a little bit lower than the domain level link features. What can I do to improve? You want to get high quality links to the page on your site that you're trying to rank, including links from sites that are important in your market. Now let me give you a more detailed explanation. In addition to how popular your site is overall, Google also values how popular each individual page of your site is. You improve the link popularity of your page by getting links to it from high quality sites. Sites like authority sites in your market or industry, well-known journals for your market or industry, popular blogs for your market or industry, high-quality directories for your market or industry, well-known general information sites like Wikipedia, and for local businesses, popular review sites like Yelp. The more of these kinds of high-quality links your page has, the more Google will favor it in the search results. While not weighted as heavily as the site's overall link popularity, domain authority, the individual page link popularity is still a very important factor in getting Google to rank the page. Should you buy links? To expedite things, some people choose to buy links or pay people to create the links for them. This is a common practice, and I won't say it's not effective. If you look at the backlinks aimed at just about any site in competitive markets, it's pretty obvious that webmasters are buying links. If you choose to do this, just keep in mind that there is risk involved. Google doesn't want to rank websites that buy links or have them created rather than earned. Google is just a machine and often can't tell the difference between the two kinds of links. But if it gets discovered that your site is using paid links, you can pretty much guarantee that your site will be slapped or pushed way down or even out of the search results completely. Now, I won't be hypocritical here. I personally use manually created links, though I never buy links or use links created by software. I even run a service that builds manual links, rankcrew.com. So I'm not telling you not to do it, just be aware of the risk. Link baiting. Link baiting is the search engine marketing phrase for creating content that people will want to link to. This is not an easy thing to achieve. You need to really throw yourself into content if you want other people to link to it. Be passionate. Make sure it uses visual elements, graphics, infographics, or even video has a lot of depth and usable knowledge. Controversial content also tends to work very well as link bait. Once you have some link bait posted to your site, a great way to start getting it to generate links is through social media. Post a link to the page to Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, anywhere and everywhere that people might see it and start talking about it and sharing it. If you have the means, promote the post using the paid advertising systems of the social media sites that you post to. If people love it, they'll share it, and some of those who see it will link to it. Understanding Anchor Text In years past, it used to be very important to make sure that you get the keywords you want to rank for into the anchor text of lots of links aimed at your site. The anchor text is the typically underlined text in a link. For instance, if you see a link on a page where the highlighted text is click here, then click here is what's known as the anchor text. So if you wanted a page to rank for blue widgets, in the past you would make sure that the anchor text of most of the links aimed at your site contained the exact keywords blue widgets. However, because anchor text was so important in the past, it was heavily used by website owners to influence Google's results.
so Google changed the way it looks at anchor text. Now having your keywords in the anchor text more than just a small percentage of the time will have the opposite effect. This is known as anchor text over optimization. Google is pretty good at figuring out what keywords a page should rank for based on the page title, the page content, and to a lesser degree, the content of the pages that are linking to it. Besides that, you can influence what Google thinks your page is about by the way you structure the page. More on that in the next lesson. There's no need to stuff the anchor text of your links with your keywords. It's harmful to your rankings to try and do that now. Only a few of your links should have anchor text that exactly match the keywords you want to rank for. It's not natural behavior for links to always contain keywords in the anchor text, and Google doesn't like to see that anymore. So make sure you just sprinkle your keywords in the anchor text of the highest quality links to your site. Most of the time, your links will contain what links naturally contain, your brand name, your domain name or URL, and a variety of other text that isn't related to the keywords, like click here or this page, that kind of thing. It's also good to use descriptive anchor text with your primary keywords sometimes. That is, if your page is about blue widgets, your anchor text may be learn about blue widgets here, or advice on blue widgets, or how to use blue widgets properly. Descriptive anchor text is good. Keyword only anchor text must be used sparingly. A good rule of thumb is to keep the number of links that use any kind of keyword rich anchor text, including descriptive anchor texts, under 10%. Like I said, Google does still look at anchor text to determine relevancy, but it doesn't like to see a lot of exact keywords in the anchor text. One way to get around this limitation is if your domain name contains the keywords you want to rank for. As an example, I have a site called backyardgardening.org. Having links with the domain or URL as the anchor text, backyardgardening.org, or http colon slash slash backyardgardening.org, will not be penalized by Google and yet still contain the keywords you want to rank for and helps push your site towards better rankings for those keywords. How to check a page's link popularity in anchor text. Once again, I'll refer to Keyword Canine, the only SEO tool I use anymore. The domain dashboard tool that I talked about in the previous lesson shows you the authority of any individual page as well as the authority of the entire domain. It does this using a ranking metric called page authority, which is an indicator of how likely a page is to rank in Google based on a variety of factors, the most prominent being the quantity and quality of the links aimed at the page. The higher the number, the more authority the page has, and the more likely it is to rank in Google. You want to get that number as high as possible by building high quality links to your page. Keyword Canine also has another powerful tool, the Backlink Report, that's able to show you a list of all the links aimed at any page of your site and what their quality is like. It gives you the anchor text breakdown of those links, which tells you how many times each anchor text appears in links to your site. For the example site I mentioned, backyardgardening.org, not one link contains the exact phrase backyard gardening and yet that site ranks very well for those keywords. Remember, you want to keep the number of links that contain your keywords to just a few, under 10%. Also, you want to try and get links from pages that are themselves well linked. Keyword Canine tells you the link strength of a page with a value called KC rank. So you want to get links from pages that have a KC rank above zero. You also want to make sure that you have plenty of do follow links, since those are the only ones that Google says they will count as votes toward the popularity of your page. If your link is no follow, that means the website owner is telling Google, do not count this link as a vote. Keyword Canine gives you that information as well. Understanding the relationship of page authority 
to domain authority. If you recall from lesson one, Google values the link popularity of your entire site more than the link popularity of any individual page. However, the site's overall link popularity is the sum total of the popularity of each individual page. That means it's important to get quality links coming into each individual page because that's what ultimately determines the authority of your site as a whole. Let me illustrate this concept. The human face is made up of many pieces. The eyes, nose, ears, mouth, teeth, hair, chin, cheeks, jaw, etc. Having just one great feature doesn't make a person beautiful. A person may have a great nose, but if that's the only great feature on their face, few people would think of them as beautiful. People may admire an individual's hair, but hair alone doesn't make you beautiful either. But put great eyes, a nice smile, and good hair on a person, and wow, suddenly they're a real looker. It's the combination of great features that matters. Whereas individually those features may not be considered beautiful, put them together and what you have is suddenly more than the sum of its parts. Well, Google is looking to rank beautiful sites. Sites that have a number of great features or pages. The more great features or pages it finds on the collective face of your site, the more beautiful it is in Google's eyes and the more likely it is to rank. Improving the link popularity of the individual pages of your site gives the site a collective facelift in Google's estimation. Focusing all of your attention on one great page or one great section of your site isn't usually enough. You want to make sure that all of the pieces come together in one beautiful collection that is more than the sum of its parts. When you've accomplished that, your site becomes an authority site, the kind of site that Google loves to rank. If the page authority statistic can be likened to the individual features of your site's face, then the domain authority statistic represents the beauty of a site overall. So work hard to make yours a perfect 10. To sum this lesson up, getting high quality links into the individual page that you want to rank is very important. Even if Google values the site's overall link popularity the most, it still puts weight on an individual page's authority. And since the domain authority is the sum of the individual page's authority, it only makes sense to increase the link popularity and authority of each individual page as much as possible. Throughout this course, I highlight the use of Keyword Canine as the perfect tool to help you achieve your Google ranking success. Keyword Canine does it all for you. Site health monitoring, keyword analysis, backlink analysis, rank tracking, long tail mining, keyword optimization, and more. You'll save hours out of your day every time you use it. This tool is seriously worth its weight in gold. There's nothing else like it on the market, especially for the price. So start your SEO efforts off on the right foot and get access to Keyword Canine at KeywordCanine.com.